YouTube, this is Mech from Mech Tech Gaming, and I have a quick video here, or what will hopefully be quick, um, an explanation or how-to tutorial of how you get your um, record your voice along with your party chat on your Xbox when you're using whichever kind of um, capture device that you're using. Um, I'm using the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, and I wanted to have my voice included in the recording whenever I was in a party chat. So I wanted to have the party chat in my recording as well as my voice um, also. And uh, I was having a little bit of trouble with my Roxio with the preview screen uh, being all glitchy. You probably saw my video for that. Um, and so I went on the Roxio um, community forums to look for some answers, and while I was there, I saw someone asking about how you uh, set up so that you can record your voice and your um, party chat. And so I'm going to do a quick explanation of that. Um, I have my uh, Turtle Beach uh, X12 gaming headset here. Um, it it's uh, compatible with Xbox and um, PC. And what you get for cables is you have uh, these two here, and um, you got your red and your white input. And that um, that goes in to this here. Uh, this could be purchased separately. Um, sometimes they come in, in a bundle with uh, an HDMI cable. So we'll go ahead and put those in. So you see those fit right in there. Red to red, white to white, pretty simple. And that is um, what's going to bring the uh, sound to your uh, headphones. And the next bit is well, you need to power the headphones because these are wired. And you have a USB here for that, and that can be plugged into pretty much anything. Um, you can plug it into your Xbox, your PC, um, uh, a USB hub, whatever you may have. Uh, I am plugging them into my PC. Um, not only because I don't want to use up ports on my Xbox, but also because I use these... Uh, headphones for PC as well, so I figure that I might as well just plug it into my PC. So, um, right into the USB port it goes, and um, so that gives it power. And we have the um, the green input cable here. It goes into uh, the computer if you want to use it for PC. And then you have the pink here, which goes into your computer as the uh, microphone input. And so, for the Xbox, there's one other thing. Uh, that is the plug that the green input goes into when you want to use the Xbox. So that goes in there like so. So you're all set there as far as um, getting the sound to your headphones from the Xbox. So once that's finished, in order to get, um, in order to record yourself, you need to record um, using a piece of software on the computer. It can be anything that captures voice. I use a, a program called Audacity. It's uh, pretty popular. A lot of people I know use it. It's free. It's easy to use. I'll show you in a bit what that looks like. But this here goes into the uh, microphone in input on your computer, um, your laptop, your desktop, whatever you are using. Uh, I have one in the back, but I, I like to put it up here in this port that I have just so that I have easy access to it 
right in there, and I leave that in all the time. There's no need to take it out. Um, and whenever I want to switch to using PC, I just unplug this one and plug it into the microphone port right here next to the mic. So, now that that's all set up and plugged in, I'll show you the um, the settings you need to use on your Xbox preferences in order to record the voice through your capture device. So here we are at the Xbox dashboard. Now just a reminder, I don't have a PS3, so um, this will be just for Xbox. I'm not sure how you would set it up for PS3. But anyways... When you're here at the dashboard, you want to go all the way over here to settings, and then go to preferences. In here, go to voice, and you have your voice volume and your game volume, also the voice output. Now for the voice output, you want to set that to play through both. And the reason for that is so that not only are you hearing it in your head through your uh, headphones, but you also have uh, the voice coming through the speakers. Now you might think, why would that matter? Because I'm not using speakers, I'm using my headphones. Well, you're running a HDMI or component or whatever you're using through the Roxio. So basically, whatever would normally come out of a speaker will go through the Roxio and record it. So when you put it on both, you can hear it in your headset and it's also being recorded through the Roxio because it's going with the sound of the game. And for the voice volume, you turn it all the way up to 10 so that the voice um, is as loud as it can be. And then the game volume, I like to turn it down all the way to 1. And what that does is it drowns out the game volume whenever someone speaks and that just kind of ensures that it doesn't the game doesn't drown out the voice now there are some games that um the game will drown out the voice regardless um of your settings here and a game that i've noticed that that, that has happened is uh, halo 4 and i'm not sure how to fix that yet um some other people are having the same problem um a game like Black Ops 2, it worked perfectly. Um, my voice audio from the party chat is is fine on top of the the game volume. It doesn't drown it out a bit. But some games, it just doesn't work that way. And eventually we'll find a way to work around it. So this is all you need to do for settings on the Xbox 360 dashboard. Now the next part I'll show you is Audacity and you recording your own voice in the separate program on your PC or laptop. Okay here we are and the program that I'm using to record my voice separate from the party chat is a program called Audacity it's this program right here. It's free. I'll put the link to it in the description below. And it's, uh, it's I guess it's a pretty widely known pr um, program. It's uh, a program that I've, ha I've heard a lot of people recommend. So I'm going to open that up. It's very easy to use. Um, there's a lot of uh, different like bells and whistles and buttons up here and filters, effects, and all that stuff, and I've never really gotten into that because I d haven't needed to yet. But anyways, uh, when you plug into your, your mic, usually it's going to be your microphone, like it'll be a labeled microphone, and to figure out what it is, you click on the uh, little speaker, uh, right-click, go to recording devices, and... See, I got microphone selected, and as I'm speaking, the the green bar here is going up. So, pretty much, if you plug in your mic, it's apt to already be on the default setting, and you just check this, and you'll see it, uh, the bar here going up as you speak. And if it doesn't work, you can just click on another one and hit um, uh, set the default, 
and see if it works. Um, so once you figure out which one it is, you go back to Audacity, you want to choose your microphone. There's a list here of all the ones available. Well, the one that I'm using is the microphone uh, IDT High Definition. So we click on that. And then um, what I like to do is um, if you click on this little microphone here, it starts to automatically monitor your voice. So you see these bars going up. Basically, that's telling me that Audacity is hearing my voice, it's picking up the levels in my voice, and that is so I know that it's working. And so before I hit the record button, I know that it's working. So when when you go ahead and you hit record here, what I like to do is, is on the dashboard of my 360, I need to sync up my voice. So by doing that, what I'll do is before I start um, recording, the voice chat or the gameplay or anything, what I'll do is um, once I hit record on Audacity, I'll find a place on the menu like the um, like the guide menu and I'll do this. I'll go down the menu and I'll count as I go down. I'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then when I go into my video editing software, I use that reference point to sync up my voice that I'm recording on Audacity with the audio in my, coming from my Xbox. So that way, when you are recording your party chat, it's going to sync up with the voice that you recorded separately on Audacity. So that's really about it. It's uh, really... Kind of simple once you do it a few times, but it can be a little hard to understand. Um, if you don't have a Turtle Beach headset, I really don't know. Um, it doesn't have to be Turtle Beach, but it's got to be some kind of a gaming headset that allows you to plug it into your Xbox and then take the other cords that come with it and plug it into your PC. Or you can use an external mic if you want to. If you have one on your desk, you could use that if you'd like, if it's not going to be in your way. Um, that works too. So uh, anyway, that's about it. That kind of wraps it up. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message, send me an email, leave it in the comments. Um, I would be happy to help if you have any questions. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, if you would please like, uh, comment, and share with your friends or anyone else who may be wondering how to do this. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more videos from me that are coming up. So I'd like to say thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.